I'm starting to dread watching anything made by Cinetel Films. Granted, I haven't watched every film they've put out over the past year, but the films I have watched, I've noticed, are very similar. They all seem to take place in a small town that's located next to a mountain. They all have this earthquake visual effect. Some but not all start with two scientists that are on the side of the mountain who are on the verge of discovering whatever the eco-disaster is and they end up getting killed by it. Some but not all feature ex-cast members from Battlestar Galactica. All of the films feature a plot point involving parents getting separated from their children. Heck, even all the leading men look the same. What drives me insane is that all the films play out exactly the same with little variation. I highly doubt that this is an artistic choice by Cinetel, and it has more to do with the fact that they make films on consignment for the Sci-Fi Channel, and the Sci-Fi Channel has a lot of criteria that needs to be met in order for them to ensure premium advertisements. The thing is, other production companies have these same restrictions, but they tend to be a little bit more creative. I guess Cinetel has just given up. I don't really think they make films anymore as much as visual noise with breaks for commercials. David F. Friedman sums up Cinetel's filmmaking philosophy when he said, The film was terrible, but it had sprockets and you could run it through a machine. Snowmageddon takes place in a small town that's located next to a mountain. It's Christmas time and a strange package turns up on the doorstep of a family. The youngest son opens it, and it's a snow globe of their small mountainside town. Every time he winds it up, something terrible happens to the town. After an hour and 15 fucking minutes of bland filler, the father throws it into the bowels of hell. Snowmageddon features Michael Hogan from Battlestar Galactica fame. It has heaps of bad visual effects involving the earth cracking and a subplot involving parents getting separated from their kids. All the main characters survive and it even has the same lame ending as Icequake which was their last year's Christmas disaster film. The ending involves the family's dog returning. I even think they use the same dog. The best thing about Snowmageddon is the title. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas.